Hello everyone, welcome to Unacademy Ascent, uh, the dedicated channel for general aptitude, uh, engineering mathematics as well as general sciences. So we are again back with our daily practice problems, right? We are again back with our daily practice sessions and we are moving on to the second part of our most important quant topic, the speed, time and distance. So in the previous class, we did the first part of the speed, time and distance. So now we'll be moving on to the second part of the speed, time and distance. Okay, let's move on to the first problem. A bouncing ball is dropped from a 125 meters high multi-storied building. The ball bounces back a 2 by 9th of the distance each time before coming to rest. The total distance traversed by the ball is dash. Okay, so there is basically a bouncing ball. So a person is standing at the height of a building, right? At the top, really, at the top level of a building, right? He drops the ball, right? The ball, it bounces back 2 by 9th of the distance. And again goes back to the rest. It bounces back again to by ninth of the rest. Again goes back to the rest. So this keeps on happening. Right? This keeps on happening. So the basically the person is standing here, right? This is the building, right? He drops the ball, right? First the drop, the ball goes here. Then two by ninth of the distance it goes, right? Then it comes back down. Two by ninth of the distance it goes, comes back down, right? Asa, okay? Asa jata jayega. Then finally it comes back to rest, right? Then finally it comes back to rest. Okay, so this is how it follows, right? So what is the total distance traveled by the ball, right? What is the total distance traveled by the ball, right? So what is the height of the building here, right? What is the height of the building? The height of the building is 125 meters. The height of the building is 125 meters. And whenever he drops the ball, it travels 2 by 9th of the distance, right? It travels 2 by 9th of the distance. So either kya hota hai, we will be getting two GP series here, right? We will be getting two geometric progression series. Right? We'll be getting two geometric progression series. Now you guys will be like, sir, how is it possible? Right? See, the first series is basically this one, right? The whole distance 125 plus next kya hota hai? 125 ka 2 by 9 into 2 by 9. But if you see the same one, it goes down, right? So when he drops the ball, this one is 125. This is starting me, right? Then it goes to a level of 125 into 2 by 9. Itana distance travel karta hai. Wapas itana hai distance niche jayega na wo. Right? From, see this is 125 and to 0. Right? From 0 to 125 to 2 by 9 it goes. Again the ball will bounce back. Right? The again the ball will rebound back. So the first phenomenon will be the first GP. Second phenomenon will start from 125 to 2 by 9. Right? The first phenomenon will start from 125. The second phenomenon will start from 0 to 125 to 2 by 9. Right? So let us solve this question. Right? I will write down the solution here. Okay, right on the solution here. So the first GP, what will be the first GP? The first GP will be 125 plus 125 into 2 by 9 plus 125 into 2 by 9 into 2 by 9, right? Into 2 by 9. Because two times bar bhi, wo 2 by 9 ka hai distance travel karega, right? If you go back to the question here, right? 125 into 2 by 9, then it goes 2 by 9, back again 2 by 9. Then thoda sa gaya. Thodasa, 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 and it comes back to the rest, right? Comes back to the rest. So it goes on till infinity, right? It goes on till infinity. So what is our geometric progression formula? It is A divided by 1 minus R, right? So what is A here? A is 125. What is R? R is 2 by 9, right? This is R and this is A. So this will be 1 minus 2 by 9. Okay, so this is 125 divided by so 9 minus 2 is 7, 7 bar 9, right, 7 bar 9. So you have to multiply this. So this will be 125 into 9 divided by 7, which is 1125 bar 7. So this will be the option 1, <coughs> right, this will be the option 1. Now let us see the second GP, right, now let us see the second GP. So the second GP kidder se start hota hai? The second GP starts from the first reborn, right? It starts from the first reborn. So it is 125 into 2 by 9 plus 125 into 2 by 9 into 2 by 9 plus 125 into 2 by 9 into 2 by 9, right? And it goes on till infinity. It goes on till infinity. We know the GP formula is A divided by 1 minus R. Right. So what is A here? A is 125 into 2 by 9. So that is A. 1 minus R. R is again 2 by 9 the same itself. R is again 2 by 9 the same itself. So this will be 125 into 2. That is 250 bar 9. And this will be again 7 by 9 itself. Right. So you take 9 as the LCM. 9 minus 2 7 by 9. So 9 and 9 gets cancelled. 
So the second part will be 250 bar 7, which is option 2, right? So both are events here, both are events which are happening together. So what I have to do, I have to take 1 plus 2. And what was 1? 1 was 1125 plus 7. And the second one is 250 plus 7. Second one is 250 plus 7. So this is 1125 plus 250. So this will be 1350 divided by 7. 1350 divided by 7. So this will be equal to 196.42 meters. This will be equal to 196.42 meters. Go back to the question. It is option B 196.4 meters. Right? A simple question. Let's move on to the next one. Question 2. The question looks a bit big, but it is not so. Ram and Shyam are brothers. One day they start at the same time from their home from for Kalyan railway station in their respective cars. Ta Ram took 57 minutes to reach the station. After reaching the station, Ram found that Shyam is 1.3 kilometers away from the distance. The distance of Kalyan station from their home is 24 kilometers. Next day, Shyam decided to start 20 minutes early. If they drive at the same speed, okay, not say speed same, drive at the same speed as the previous day, then Ram will reach the station at what time? Four options are given, 15 minutes before Sham, 15 minutes after Sham, 11 minutes before Sham, and 13 minutes before Sham. 13 minutes before Sham. Okay, Ram or Sham, dono brothers, right? They both are going, they both are leaving at the same time from their home to reach the Kalyan railway station. Ram takes around 57 minutes to reach the station. After reaching the station, Ram, he found that Sham is actually 1.3 kilometers be behind him, right? 1.3 kilometers away from the station. The total distance of the Kalyan station is 24 kilometers. So next day what Sham does, so basically Sham was behind, right? So next day Sham decides that he will start 20 minutes early, right? Next day Sham thinks he will start 20 minutes early, right? So if they drive in the same speed as the previous day, right? Agar un dono ka speed is same hai, jo kal ke tarah tha, previous day ke tarah tha, to Ram will reach the station at what time? Ram will reach the station at what time? A simple question here, right? So this is also a very simple question. This is also a very simple question, right? So what they have given here, you know the time taken by Shyam, you know the distance of Kalyan station, right? Both of them ke liye distance same hoga. Aur Ram ka time diya hai, right? Ram ka time diya hai. To wo pehle karo. You know that, what you have to find out here, you have to find out the speed. Speed is equal to distance divided by time. Right? Speed is equal to distance divided by time. So distance kitna hai? Distance hai 50 Right, what is the distance? Just a minute, 24 kilometers, sorry, right? 24 kilometers is the distance. And what is the time taken by him? 57 minutes, right? 57 minutes. So this is kilometer by minute. So this will be 0.42 kilometer bar minute, right? 0.42 kilometer bar minute. So what is the speed of Shyam? What is the speed of Shyam? So that was the speed of Ram. Speed of Shyam be same formula here. Formula totally different, right? Formula will be the same. The distance is, go back, how should you find out the distance? Ram took 57 minutes. So, at the same time only, means in the same 57 minutes only, Sham will be 1.3 kilometers away, no? Right? Uh, so, let me just erase this. Yes, okay? So, at the same time only, right, Ram took 57 minutes, okay? When he reached the station, that is, when he reached total 24 kilometers, he found that Sham was 1.3 kilometers away, right? He found that Sham was 1.3 kilometers away from 24 kilometers, right? So, usi ke liye hum speed nikalte hai. So, this will be 24 minus 1.3 divided by 57, right? 24 minus 1.3 divided by 57. So, this will be 22 bar 7 kilometers bar 57 minutes. So, this will be equal to 0.39 kilometer per minute, right? This will be equal to 0.39 kilometer per minute, right? So, let us find the total time taken by Shia. Right. Let us find out the total time taken by Sham. So time ka kya hoga? So basically speed equals distance by time. So time will be distance bar speed now. Right. Time will be distance bar speed now. Right. So what is the distance here? Right. What is the distance he has traveled? Right. Total distance kitna hai Kal uh, Kalyan station ka? 24. Right. He has traveled 22.7 kilometers in 0.39 kilometer per minute in 57. Right. So same speed, agar wo hum is distance ke liye dalenge, to uska total time pata chalega. Right. So 24 divided by 0.39. Right. 24 divided by 0.39. So you'll get the answer as 61.5 minutes. Right. 
so 61.5 minutes is the correct answer right 61.5 minutes is the correct answer so totally ram is taking 57 minutes sham is taking 61.5 minutes to reach the whole station right so tomorrow that is the next day he starts 20 minutes early right so basically what was his time 61.5 agar if he starts 20 minutes early right if he starts 20 minutes early then the total time taken by him with respect to ram then the total time taken by him with respect to ram will be 41.5 minutes will be 41.5 minutes so what they are telling basically here is ram will reach at the same time which is 15 57 minutes uh or to the train or to the station but sham as he is leaving 20 minutes earlier than ram right 20 minutes earlier than ram he will reach the station 41.5 minutes okay dono jo hai so basically you understand here ram is starting from 0 to 57 whereas a sham is starting from minus 20 to 57 right sham is starting from minus 20 to 60 uh, 57 so 61.5 is the time taken by sham so here the 51 57 is basically 61.5 right but we have to take in reference to 57 right sham ka jo time is 61.5 agar wo 20 minute pehle uh, jayega to ram ki consideration mein he will reach at 41.5 minutes so what is the difference between 41.5 and 57 right what is the difference so subtract karo right 57 sorry there you have to subtract here okay subtract but you have to take the difference difference ka matlab hai dono ka value jo hoga dono ka value jo hoga that will be positive right 41.5 minus 15 57 which will be 15.5 minutes right so basically what does this mean what does this mean 51.5 minutes earlier than ram okay so as he is leaving 20 minutes earlier he will reach the station 15.5 minutes earlier than ram Rama bhi piche roga, right? So go back to the questions, right? 15 minutes before Sham. So they have uh, asked here with the Ram's reference, right? Agar Sham is before Ram, then what will Ram be? Then what will Ram be? Ram will be after Sham now, right? So basically, Sham is 15.5 minutes before Ram, earlier to Ram. So Ram ka kya hoga? Ram ka ulta hoga. 15.5 minutes after Sham, right? 15.5 minutes after Sham. Here they have not given 0.5 approximation. So you will choose the option B. 15 minutes after Sham, Ram will be reaching. 15 minutes after Sham, Ram will be reaching. So that's uh, that ends the second question. Now let us move on to the third question. Very simple one. The average speed of a bus is 1 by 7 the average speed of a car which covers uh, 5000 kilometers in 67 hours. What is the average speed of the bus? Right? What is the average speed of the bus? So let us go back here. Okay. The solution for this one is very simple. Quite simple. Okay. So the average speed of the car. Right? Average speed of the car. How can we find out? Karenge? It is distance by time. Right? Average speed of the car is equal to distance by time. What is the distance given? The distance is given as 5000 kilometers. Right? 5000 kilometers is the total distance and the time given is 67 hours right so 5000 by 67 will be 74.62 kilometer per minute what they have given in the question go back the average speed of a bus is 1 by 7th the average speed of a car right what is the speed of the car here 74.62 so the average speed of bus will be right the average speed of bus will be 74.62 into 1 by 7 right 1 by 7th of the speed right 1 by 7th of the speed so 74.62 ka 1 by 7th part hamara bus ka speed over 74.62 into 1 by 7 which is 10.66 kilometers per minute right so basically this is kilometers right so 10.66 kilometers per minute will be the average speed of the bus go back to the question it is option a 10.66 kilometer per hour sorry okay it is 10.66 kilometer per hour not per minute because you are taking in hours sorry for the mistake there right this is kilometers per hours so this will be 74.62 kilometer per hour and this will also be kilometer per hour right 10.66 kilometer per hour okay so that finishes the daily practice problem of today guys okay i will see you all again in the next session which will be the speed time and distance part 3 where we will again solve some tricky questions in the speed time and distance quad aptitude part okay uh, before moving on further please do please uh, like the video please do share the video and please do subscribe to our dedicated youtube channel that is the unacademy asset thank you everyone i'll see you all in the next session have a good